Hello David, as you are an expert in AI, can I ask you how easy it's to introduce AI in a STM32 MCU? Hi Chloe, yeah, I would say that it is rather easy thanks to our tool Nano8 AI Studio. This tool is an auto ML, so this means that Nano8 solution is a solution that creates um, the AI algorithm based on your input data. So we could say that this is kind of an AI that creates a, its own AI algorithms for you. So this is quite perfect for uh, users for of embedded that they have not much experience or even non-experience in, in AI development. And also for really good experts of AI who they want to have a tool for that available with scalability. NanoS contains the so-called anormality detection. This algorithm is quite useful to detect unexpected signals within your solution. The output of it is a percentage uh, of the similarity of your input signal, which is perfect for, maintenance, for frantic maintenance solution. On top of that, we have the so-called learning at the edge. This means that when you have deployed the algorithm in your final product, you can go on the field and even fine tuning thanks to this feature. There is also the project classification. This is quite clear. We want to uh, classify different signals. A good example of it is if you take the smartwatch or the accelerator of it, you can classify the, the behavior of someone which is sitting like me, someone who is going to start walking or someone who is start running. That's quite a good example of classification. Finally, we have extrapolation. So for example, if we take a pump, thanks to the current, we extrapolate the value of the pressure. So for me, the challenge is not the AI algorithm itself. For me, it's identifying the pattern behind your signal. And thanks to NanoX, this is quite easy. So the other difficulty would be to find the use case you want to tackle with. And for that, ST has a gallery, plenty of use cases that you can get inspired by. Please visit our website on dedicated cases of AI to find more information. Thanks for watching.